Okur. <laughs> Hi. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Wildina Rodriguez. Please subscribe to my channel for more content. So a while back, I did a poll on Instagram asking you guys whether you wanted to hear my story of how I started modeling or my curly hair journal. Most of you chose the how I started modeling story. So today I'm bringing you this story and I hope you guys like it. So let's just get straight to the point. My desire to be a model started the day I was born. I remember like it was yesterday. As a toddler, I would wear a hooded towel over my head, talking about the system, my long hair. And I would go to my closet, put on some nice clothes I found there, whatever I found there. And I'll put on my aunt's high heels and grab her purse and just walk around the house talking about I'm Miss Maribel or Miss Mary, yeah, Miss Marisol. Miss Marisol was my childhood name. Apparently, I had an SUV and I was a model. Yeah, very vivid imagination, I know. Growing up, my childhood years did me so dirty. So, so dirty. Because when I finally had my adult teeth growing, they came out super, super crooked. And they were too big for my teeny tiny slim face. Like literally, this was enough to have me looking like a shark slash horse. I used to get cold ugly names in school just because of my teeth like they used to call me shark teeth they used to call me piano teeth they used to call me popsicle teeth a bunch of crazy stuff i know <laughs> all this affected me and my very high self-esteem because back then i thought i was the cutest <laughs> i mean i still does but like let's not talk about now as the bullying kept going i would just drown in my own tears of sadness and suffer quietly I never mentioned anything to anyone um, and this actually impacted my self-esteem so much that every time a boy liked me I would just get super hype like oh, a boy likes me it's very rare for a boy to like me so a boy likes me it made me feel good about myself you know what I'm saying you like me <laughs> so I'm cute right that's what you're saying I'm cute so you know like I would really get like super super hype every time a boy liked me which was almost never actually all this negativity put me down so much that i forgot what i wanted to be what my heart desired to be so i just let my dream die and never spoke about it until my teenage years when my lovely tia alexandra offered me and my sister an opportunity to be in a church magazine promoting her hair salon. I was 15 at the moment and it was 2011. I was super exuberant about this opportunity and when the magazine came out, I went loud about it in school. <laughs> what is you talking about? Think I must stay quiet? I came out in a magazine. But really, it was just like a dream come true for me, even though it was just a small church magazine my friends in school were really happy about it and like always life happened and bullies happened um most people started trashing it they were like oh but that's not even a big magazine that's not a big deal excuse me to me it is so just let me shine please thank you i felt sad of course but what could i do after a little while i mentioned to someone in my life that i wanted to be a model and how my dad would always tell me you're gonna be a model you're gonna be a model because i had like long legs and just the way my body was built in general i actually opened up to this person about what i wanted to be and how my dad always used to say that but this person actually laughed in my face and told me i could not and that this wasn't for me I'm not gonna lie, I was crushed. After this, I just decided to keep it to myself and just not mention it again. A few years passed. It was 2014 and I remember I was 18. So this very unexpected opportunity knocks on my door. Turns out my neighbor's sister had an online boutique and she needed a petite girl to model some dresses for her. So she asked my mom if she could use me. I remember I was out with my father visiting some family members and I received this call from my mother 
and she asked me is your hair done are your nails done is your makeup done and i'm like yeah ma why and she's like oh because sabala wants you to model some dresses for her me <laughs> okay yeah i was like daddy let's go <laughs> so my dad took me home and i went to get my high heels and then i went straight to the neighbor's house and when i came in i remember sabala was standing there smiling then she passed me some small sized dresses to try on and we shot for a good amount of hours like we were finished by around 3 to 4 a.m when these pictures came out a very special person in my life was like wow you're a natural you should really do this um we started looking for an agency my lack of knowledge and my desperation to manifest this at the moment let me go for the first option that i found big mistake so i made an appointment and the day finally comes i walk in the agency i remember going with a very special friend slash fashion designer but they asked me to come in with my legal guardian because i was not 21. so i went with my mom and the workers there just tried their best to convince me and my mom that i had a very bright future with them that they were very excited to work with me that i have very unique looks and i was gonna make a lot of money and they just literally told me i was gonna be able to make two thousand dollars just for one photo shoot make two thousand dollars so i'm over here like <laughs> i'm doing this you know what i'm saying so the fee to get me started with them was of five hundred dollars i looked at my mom like mommy can i please have five hundred dollars you know my mom at the moment obviously she couldn't do it you know like she was giving me all of her emotional support you know what i'm saying but like um financially i had to go to my daddy for help so i called daddy and he didn't think about it twice boom here you go five hundred dollars so i'm finally in i'm part of the agency you know and i'm already here feeling famous <laughs> i remember i used to wear my hair straight all the time ironic right i'm telling this story when i have my hair straight so that same day they took some really basic pictures of me with like a small digital camera to post them on my profile on their website all right next thing you know on my next visit there they're trying to convince me to pay two thousand dollars for a photo shoot with one of their professional photographers three different looks and this will get my portfolio started two thousand dollars of course i was not with this like who do they think they is so what i did was i called my cousin who was really good at taking pictures and she had a very nice camera so i called her and i'm like hey can you take photos of me in central park with different outfits and she was like yeah of course let's do it so we did it we got some really nice pictures like super super nice pictures and I updated my profile with those pictures after we were done. They were so nice without even editing them. And the best part, it was free. <laughs> I remember I used to like go on my inbox every single day, every single hour to check if anybody had reached out or if anybody had replied to any of my submissions. And no, didn't nothing there was never nothing on my next visit to the agency i let them know i've i've not been getting anything like i've been submitting nobody's getting back to me what's going on you guys promised this and that blah 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 so they were here like well um there is a lot of competition out there i'm over here like why you not tell me this at the beginning why you wait for me to sign which you give you my money and then you tell me there's a lot of competition out here you is a scam that's what you is a scam <laughs> you just want my money because like okay like, let's get this straight first you charge me five hundred dollars just to make me a profile on your website 
Second, you tried to charge me $2,000 for a photo shoot. And that's without even counting the monthly fee that I was supposed to pay, $40 a month for maintenance, for website maintenance. Like, I never heard this before, never. Besides this, they would take a percentage of everything that I would make if I ever made anything, uh, which is fair. That part is fair because I am actually in your agency, so you are supposed to take a percentage. But don't come the, the, the monthly fee. Total scam. Total scam. Quick advice. Aspiring models. Most legit agencies will not ask you for money up front. If they really see potential in you, they will sign you because they know they can make good money with you in the long run you're welcome but anyways i went to a really good amount of castings and i gave my paper copy comp cards and i never got accepted into anything how about that i do remember me and a few other members participating in this jasmine perfume commercial but literally the agency did not even bother to check his background before sending us out there to work with this person this man ended up scamming each one of us or at least trying to scam each one of us we were supposed to get paid for this and we ended up not earning not even one dollar off him instead he was trying to get money out of us how, how does that work like you reach out to an agency for models and you want to charge the models to join your whatever no that that's not how it works thank you but anyways i at the end of my journey with this agency i ended up earning just 60 dollars and those 60 dollars were earned because i submitted to a casting to be part of an audience for a tv show you know those TV shows where there's like a lot of people sitting down and they just laugh? Yeah, I was one of those. And I earned $60. That's it. So basically, I lost money with them and I just earned $60. So it just makes no sense to me. I, I ended up quitting the agency. I remember telling myself, maybe this isn't for you. Maybe you weren't born for this. You probably were born for something else. And just like that, I gave up my dreams. Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed this first part of my video. Stay tuned for the second part. It's going to be intense. You guys are going to learn a lot more about everything that I went through to manifest my modeling career. Bye!